Okay, hey YouTube. I had um, I mean it's snowing. I'm sorry. It's night time, and I came in here check on my guys, make sure they're warm enough. And Marge's in here. She's shedding again, and we'll see what kind of shed this is gonna be. I'm gonna wet up everything. But I've been feeding her both super mealworms and regular mealworms and that's why I'm making this video. It's not about her. It was actually about the mealworms because I've always been told that the super mealworms, the giant mealworms, are just regular mealworms that have been given a um, a hormone that makes them grow larger but you can't reproduce them. Well, I found this this is definitely a super mealworm pupae. See how big that is? That's humongous. That is not a normal, there's no way that is a normal mealworm pupae. I mean, look at it. I'm going to put it down for you to see how big that thing is. There's no way that's a normal pupae. So, I don't know if they've changed something, <laughs> but I just had to show this because it blew my mind to find a giant mealworm pupae. I only found just this one out of all the ones that I've um, I fed. So I guess it's going to be a really, really big beetle. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I just I did not know that they could pupae and turn to beetles. So whether or not it will turn to a beetle live that long, I don't know. But I'm just gonna leave it in there and see what happens with it. This is a giant mealworm. It's not a superworm. It's a giant mealworm. It's definitely, definitely, let me get it focus. Definitely not a superworm. It is a mealworm. So, if someone already knew that, then, you know, I guess this is not news, but for me, it's definitely new. That looks like one that might have you paid out. Nah, that might have been a regular one. It's dead, but. These are just regular giant millworms. Okay, that's it. So. Giant millworm, please,